Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also do fun videos on YouTube and stream on YouTube. That's right. I do stream on YouTube as well. If you want to go ahead and leave a like or subscribe after this video, feel free to do so. I do appreciate it if you could, and at least let me know what I'm doing right in the comments so I can continue to do so. Let's move on to step two. Boom, 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 boom. The trusty blue caps, everybody. Mm -mm -mm. Blue caps for days. Okay. Why are blue caps so good? Well, in the previous video, I consumed a red cap. Ooh, my HP, it hurts so bad. Well, the beauty about these mushrooms are they communicate to one each other. Mm, what do I mean about that? Well, here's a, here's the situation. A red cap will give you hunger, zero sanity, but take away 20 HP. And then a blue cap steps in and says, well, guess what? I'm going to give you 12.5 hunger. I'm going to minus your sanity. And I'm going to give you pl 20 plus HP. Ah, the heals are back. And, uh, you know, now we're good. So here we go. Let's talk about why blue caps are good for what they are as is rather than being used in ingredients. And here is why. So as is, like I said, blue caps are a really good source of actually taking and bringing up your HP. The downfall is they bring your sanity down by 15. This might not sound like a lot, especially if you're sitting on a full stack of sanity up to 200, but if you're consistently losing sanity or you're planning to lose sanity, for example, in the caves, then you might have a little bit of trouble on your, on your hands. And why do I talk about that? Because you don't really want shadow creatures to attack you, or perhaps you do. Sometimes what people decide to use blue caps for is essentially for healing and for hunger, and when their sanity goes down, they just collect nightmare fuel. And this is something that is actually kind of sometimes warranted because you do really want to keep as much nightmare fuel as you can. But let's talk about the alternate way that you can use blue caps, shall we? So taking your blue cap and cooking it on top of a fire will, of course, cook said blue cap. Now reversing what you're going to get from it, zero hunger, once again imitating what happens when you cook a blue cap, zero hunger gets out of it, but now you plus your sanity by 10. And of course, taking a little bit of damage in the return. So blue caps are probably one of the best mushrooms that you can get in DST, in my opinion, because you can literally use them for two resources. You can go ahead and cook half the stack if you decide to do so, keeping the one stack for healing and keeping the other stack for retaining your sanity. So essentially what you're basically doing is saying, okay, you know what, I'm going to take my sanity and I'm going to dwindle it down until I'm basically full and all healed up, but then I'm going to regain my sanity by cooking the other side of it. And then, yeah, there we go. Sorry, by eating and regaining my sanity. So yeah, blue caps are basically like a little swap roux. Cooking them gives you sanity. Uncooked gives you HP. So blue caps are extremely good. I try to avoid putting them in dishes, but of course that's entirely up to you if you decide to do so. But nonetheless, blue caps are probably one of my favorite mushrooms in DST. And there you go. If you have other reasons to use blue caps or you like blue caps for whatever other things that you use it for, feel free to post down in the comments. But yeah, Go ahead, use blue caps, find them. Where do you find blue caps? Because I forgot to mention that in this video so far. Sometimes you get lucky and you do find uh, mushrooms on a, a fairy ring around the world. There's a little circle. Sometimes you can find mushrooms randomly out there, but more or less you have to go into the caves. And yes, there are a blue mushroom biome and a red mushroom biome and a green mushroom biome. And yes, they are plentiful full, but you just got to be a little bit cautious when going down into the caves. And that is that, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching.